July 26, 1948, President Truman issues Executive Order 9981. The American military is now desegregated. African American soldiers, airmen, and sailors will finally receive the same level of training and opportunity as their white counterparts. There is no justifiable reason for discrimination because of ancestry, or religion, or race, or color. Sitting behind the president is the man who drafted the executive order. He is an influential figure in the civil rights movement, Walter Francis White. Here he is in public, but Walter White spent a lot of time as a spy operating undercover to stop racism. Walter White was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1893. He had a pale complexion, blue eyes, and even blonde hair. Yet White's great-grandmother was a slave, and he didn't abandon his roots. Instead, he used his Caucasian appearance to help the black community fight dangerous foes. Hate groups, like the Ku Klux Klan, suppressed and terrorized African Americans who attempted to exercise their freedom. Threats often turned into violence. Between 1882 and 1959, angry mobs killed more than 4,700 people. These racially motivated murders were called lynchings. The killers were almost never brought to justice. Local law enforcement officers often looked the other way or even took part. Enter Walter White. He represented various newspapers with a Georgian accent and a Caucasian complexion that allowed him to appear sympathetic to racists. White investigated more than 45 lynchings. In 1919, in Elaine, Arkansas, he discovered local plans to massacre black sharecroppers and also plans for them to attack him. His secret identity had been discovered. White caught the next train out and narrowly escaped with his life, but he couldn't stop the massacre. More than 200 African American people were killed in Elaine. It remains the worst mass lynching in the history of the United States. Walter White's story exposed the truth behind the killings and the Supreme Court condemned the unfair trials that blamed black men for inciting the massacre. After his work, White was selected to lead the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. There, for 20 years, Walter White advanced African American rights in the United States. He is mostly remembered for this, but also as a spy who bravely gathered intelligence on racists. <laughs>